You're suggesting we, sh we should make more of an effort to attract Gazenkos to our side. That's right. That's precisely what it is. And it was suggested officially to Canadian government and to United States government. And it well, sir, this raises the point. You sit opposite me wearing a mask. Yes. You certainly don't suggest that coming to our side is attractive. If after 25 years in this country, it's necessary for you to wear a mask on Canadian television. Well, this is hardly a normal life. Well, uh, this uh, usually just uh, when I live under different name, I'm, of course, you understand, I'm without mask. So there is no uh, handicap in that respect. But this is just one of the precautions which is necessary because there are few this again. Do you believe that if you stopped appearing on television in a mask, if your face was to be exposed now on this program, that your life would be in danger? Oh, yes. Definitely. Definitely. Mr. Gazenko, are you suggesting that Soviet intelligence, in all the time that it's had since you defected, has not been able to trace you down, that they don't know exactly where you are and what you look like and where you live and what name you travel under, and what your wife looks like, and what your children look like, and where they go to school, and in fact, every detail of your life. Well, I assume they know, and that's why I'm a hundred times even more careful. I assume it. But I won't put my head and uh, say that definitely they know or something. I assume, yes. And then I act more careful. You th still think that the Soviet espionage apparatus would like to kill you? Well, I have no slightest doubt about that.